All right, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the wrapping effect. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Create tab and uh, make in a few boxes that will represent the surfaces of uh, the wrapping, just like I had in my uh, animation. So just go make one and just copy it over a couple times. And you can do that just by holding Shift and moving the object. Just say OK to that. Right now that we have three boxes, um, what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna affect its pivot point to where it's gonna rotate around the edge of the box, not the middle of it. We can do that by selecting box and going to the hierarchy menu at the top and hitting the effect pivot only tab. And now we're gonna move it to the top left because that's where we want the rotation to be for this wrapping effect and do the same thing for the other box as well All right. now that we have that uncheck the effect pivot only tab and uh, basically now if you try to rotate the box it rotates it around the uh, access point we place the pivot to be at so that's exactly what we want so now the next step we want to do is uh, we actually want this right box to rotate with the middle box at the same time so we can do that by going to the link tab on the top left hitting that and selecting the right box and dragging it over to the left box the middle box and now they link them together so if I move the middle box now, rotate it. It's gonna rotate them both at the same time, and that's what we want for the animation. Right. Now we're ready to start animating this thing. So the first thing we do is go to Auto Key, and we're gonna set the key for zero frames. And we actually want to set it for all three of them. All right. Then what we're gonna do is uh, go to about a 30 frames I'd say on our animation tab and then selecting the middle box and rotating it about uh, 45 degrees or so and then go to about 60 frames per and rotating it all the way to 90 and we're actually going to rotate the top box as well and move that 90 degrees so now basically what it does is it's animating this rotation of the boxes and now if you unclick the auto key and go through our uh, frames we have the wrapping effect that was seen in my animation now if you look at it and these were exactly the steps I followed to create the animation of my design hopefully this helps Thanks.